<laughs> day seven of manifestation. And as I said, things have, for me, things have really been happening. Um, I definitely have been like releasing the blocks. You know, I've been frustrated with, there are projects that I've been trying to go ahead with and it just hasn't been happening. And this week I have gotten the epiphanies, the inspirations, the guidance to like release what's stopping me and going forward in a slightly different direction, but towards the same overall yeah. desire. The inspiration yesterday, the, the exercise we did was great. I mean, personally for me, I mean, this whole week's been fun doing these little, oh, hi, Nancy. <laughs> It's been fun to do, you know, the manifestation exercises, even though for fun little things, which I like, but um, the inspiration was particularly good for me because I had been, and I've told you this just to you, you and I uh, were talking about creation and all that. And I had been wanting to put something on my website as a course to be just um, accessed without me having to be there live to just as a resource for people to just go and I had been wondering like what should I do it on you know like what it, I had zero inspiration I just kind of wanted to do this it's been months I've been thinking about that well yesterday it just kind of like when we tried to do the manifestation and I sat there through that meditation afterwards, I had like <laughs> all these ideas that just flooded and I'm so excited because it pretty much kind of formed itself. So, <laughs> so this manifestation stuff is fun to do and it works when you let go of, like Juanita said, you let go of the blocks and all that. So, which brings to mind another, another way of doing it that I wanted to talk about today is to get in touch with our aspects. This speaks to the idea that our being, not just being the physical, but the soul that's occupying this physical body we've all manifested into, <laughs> has many energetic layers that makes us we are each of us have this like big bubble around our physical being and um you know different things come from those different layers like cognitive layer emotional layer spiritual uh mental soul layer you know we all have these different primal layer all these different layers that we have and we also have these different aspects of ours that reside somewhere in these layers. And that being the top layer, like at a chakra that's referred to as star chakra, right? Our star chakra. Actually, and, if I can jump in for a moment, Maria, yeah. for those of you who are having trouble with this concept, think of yesterday when I showed you images of my aura. Exactly. And how my aura can change with intention. Our body is more than just our physical fleshy body. We also have energetic grids around our body. And that aura that you saw me photograph that each of us have is going from your center core, your chakras out into your energetic grid that's around you. So what Mariam's talking about right now if it's a little too out there, just think about your aura. Yeah, yeah. And just if you're like your aura expanding out, like, you know, more and more and more. And then you have this walking, you, all of us are like walking around these, we are these bubbles, yeah, colorful it's really bubbles good. walking around. And I don't, I didn't mean to get too technical. That's why it's mm -hmm. a little more general. What I'm saying is to just mm -hmm. picture that we have to us, to our being, different aspects that come together to get different things done and we can actually communicate with these parts of ourselves to get them to help us even more and 
tune into them and see if, you know, they talk back to us. Maybe they need something from us rather than we always asking. Imagining this as the concept, let me name the four aspects that I personally am talking about is the physical, emotional, psychological, and the spiritual aspects of ourselves. The physical aspect is the part of us that deals with this three-dimensional <laughs> reality that we're all a part of at the moment. And that's the aspect that can help us manifest into physical being certain things. For example, you know, one time in the beginning, Bonita was mentioning that she has a friend who does this meditation and asks for a certain amount of money to be manifesting into the bank account. Now, if we were to get to the nitty gritty, that's the physical aspect that's helping him actually do that. So that's the part that I'm in particularly talking about today. Our physical aspect is the aspect that brings to this physical reality certain things. And personally, I've actually used this physical aspect uh, part of me to help me do just that. Um, the past couple of weeks, I've been asking my physical aspect to help me manifest. I gave a specific number of dollars into the bank account and, and lo and behold, two days ago that was realized. So, <laughs> so I, I got a few thousand dollars in my bank account, which um, I needed for something. So, but um, it's not just me sitting there asking my physical aspect. Again, as a reminder, like Bonita said yesterday, there's actions that had gone into place in order to make this happen. However, physical, emotional, psychological, and spiritual aspects all can work together to like those other three can work together with the physical aspect to help it along and make something happen. And you in the physical reality can also put some actions in place in order to make that happen. Clearly, I did, the money didn't fly from the sky for no reason, you know. I, it was for something that I had rendered, so, you know, um, it just needed to come through. Um, so that's, that's what I'm talking about, you know, we can, get it as open as possible or as specific as possible when we're doing this exercise. And um, I can give a short little meditation just to take you to your aspects and get you to talk to them. And then you can do this on your own with like more time and just get to know your aspects. It's really fun. They talk, talk back. You can talk to them and tell them what you need. So, should we go ahead and do that, Benita? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do this short little meditation. You all get comfortable wherever you are. <laughs> Close your eyes. <coughs> and take in a couple of slow, deep breaths. Now, Really feel yourself in your body. Like invite presence into your body and notice it being there. Now, picture yourself walking through a beautiful meadow Paying attention to sounds, smells, sights, just beautiful. The weather is just as you like it. As you're appreciating 
what you're seeing, you come to a place that you recognize as your temple, your own particular temple. Go ahead and picture it any way you want. Use your imagination and elaborate on this. Feeling the sense of excitement, you open the door and you enter your temple. Picture what it looks inside. It's beautiful and so inviting. As you're walking around, you notice that there are four beings waiting for you. These are your four aspects. Go ahead and greet them. They have been wanting to talk to you. They invite you to sit with them and have a little chat. The physical aspect is waiting to hear from you. You can ask it whatever you want. stronger immune system, more strength, money, whatever. That's the physical part of you. Emotional aspect. Is the one that is in charge of the temperament and the feelings. So the psychological works with your emotional aspect very closely. You can ask all of them to cooperate together. And there is your spiritual aspect. Seems to oversee all of this. Ask them all to cooperate and really help your physical aspect to manifest what you desire. Now, you need to leave today after this short visit, but let them know that you'll go back and visit and spend some time. Thank them for the presence. Give them each a hug.
and leave the temple. As you leave the temple, you feel uplifted, excited, and inspired. Walk back the way you came through the meadow, enjoying the sights and the sounds. And now that you're back where you were, you can gently open your eyes. So this way you can get in touch with your aspects and ask your physical aspect to bring things forth for you. That's, that's what I use in order to do that. Thank you, Mariam. That was beautiful. Hmm. Well, everyone, enjoy practicing this today. Feel welcome to return to your temple throughout the day. Yeah. We'll be back tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we start EFT, tapping. And <laughs> The intention, the inspiration when combined with EFT is powerful. Tomorrow I will share a story with you about how I tapped my dream man into my life. I can't <laughs> wait to hear that. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. So feel free to do this. Um, start again. I would say start with something small. Don't get all excited and, you know, like overwhelm yourself with big projects and things like that. Just start with something small, but this is only another way of manifesting. It doesn't mean it's the only way. This is just another way. So you're, mm -hmm. you're adding to your box of tools in order to do manifestation for yourself. So have fun with this before anything else. This has to be fun. So just yeah. have fun with this and see what your physical aspect actually says back to you. Exactly. Remember, guys, like this week, I finally got to see the Aurora Borealis. I got to photograph a shooting star. Like these are things that are not super emotionally, you know, heavy for me. They're just like light and fun. And how cool that it happened this week when I've been sort of trying to make it happen for months and this week it happens. So yay you know just let it be small fun things like if there's something big don't like block it but you know we're, we're doing baby steps right now we'll get to big stuff in a couple of weeks yeah mm -hmm. well, have fun please let us know how it goes for you we'd love to hear back from you mm -hmm. so just send us some comments and get back you know get back and let us know how it was Right? Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye. Bye.